these pigeons are so cold. They're all huddled on the stoop of this building, just puffed up. It's really cute. Hi, pigeons. We don't, Jessica and I don't need any fish. Ooh, it's icy. Um, tonight, but I'm going, we're going to go to the fish street, which Jess can I call <laughs> the stinky, stinky street. <laughs> this is the slippery street. Oh my God, I'm gonna die. We're gonna take you to the stinky, stinky street just so you can see it, because it's, it's unusual. Here's some other stuff. Here's the stinky, stinky street where you can find all of the fresh fish. <laughs> Here's a butcher. Here's a nut place, the Asian fish market. In the summer, there's all this dried salted fish that's outside in these carts, and that's why it's called the Stinky Street, because that's what smells. <laughs> but it's apparently that's good. It's Portuguese fish market. Portuguese fish it's market. One. Jessica likes that one the most. It's the best. You're getting advertised. Tom's place. Tom's place. Isn't this a fun? Suits. Isn't this a fun little area? It's like you're in Europe going on your grocery shopping. Baker, re, Baker, bakery, cheese shop. We have yet to find the candlestick maker. Oh, well, there's gotta be one. But there's gotta be one, right? It's such a cute little area. Me likey. And this is Kensington Street that we're on now, which has really, really good vintage clothes shopping on it. Um, and then there's that really good restaurant, right? That's right up here? Really good restaurant? No, the restaurant's back then. Oh, I'll show you guys that on the way back then. La Palette? I think so, yeah. And Torito? La Palette actually just moved, but Torito is, I think, one of the best restaurants in the city. Super yummy. Um, maybe we'll have time to go on the weekend. Yay. And uh, they make the most amazing ceviche. Amazing, amazing, amazing ceviche. Um, awesome. Vintage clothing. Costumes. Silliness. Gold <laughs> shirts. What's better than that? And that's kind of the whole story. <laughs> More okay. And more and more and more. Okay. Now we go back up and pick up our pie and then go home and make things. Yay. Yay. Let's go. I want to see the biggest toothbrush in the world. I don't even know how you get it in your mouth. This is it compared to my face. <laughs> I don't get it. <laughs> so Jessica is going to help us cook a fun thing today. Ready? Um, they, it's, what is it called? It's a lobster salad. Lobster salad in an avocado cup. Doesn't that sound yummy? What are you doing right now? So the key to serving something in an avocado is to chop everything really, really, really tiny so that the avocado looks like an enormous bowl and everything else looks kind of normal size, but really, it's all super small. So we're gonna cut up a lot of uh, cucumber, some little tomatoes, um, some celery. Marcel wants to know what's going on. He heard the word lobster and a red onion. So you chop everything really, really, really small, and then you add a can of lobster. This is the easy way to do... A can? Yes, exactly, a can. How odd. Except it's not odd. So you buy a can of lobster, it's all claws and tails. Uh -huh. So it's all the meaty, chunky, really tasty parts. You don't have to cook a lobster, you don't have to crack a lobster, you don't have to clean a lobster, you don't have to have the smell of lobster. You just defrost a can and chop it up and throw it in. That is very interesting. Also, I suppose you don't have to go through the trauma of killing the lobster yourself. Exactly. Um, but maybe, maybe we should have to kill the food that we eat. What do you guys think? If you can't kill an animal, should you be allowed to eat it? Things to think about. I could kill a lobster. I you could. could. I could kill a lobster. You just choose not to. This to is go just through the... easy. <laughs> I've put a crab in boiling water before. It was traumatizing and delicious. I feel conflicted about it, but uh, but I did eat it. <laughs> Dinner time, there's the avocado. <laughs> it was clean shaven with a... Oh, it's really yummy. Too. The 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 always gets man's haircut, but with <laughs> yeah. a v neck and it's that yellow. Just needs that symbol there. <laughs> he'll, he'll, be the, he'll be the first one down on the planet on the away team. I use team. my... On the away team. Well, the, that was always the guy in red, so actually... Uh, the guy in red... I'll